It's time for Zach Collects. And I'm Zach behind the camera. You can't see me, but I'm here. And this is a very fat Hulkbuster. Oh, okay, fat's a bad word. Let's, let's hear it from his own lips. I'm tired of everybody calling me fat. I knows I gotta drop a couple. I knows it. Just leave me alone. Dead burn. And anyway, that's, that's, that's that. But that's what we're talking about. This episode, we're talking about the difference paint can make. These are both the same mold. Both of these. The Atmosphere Armor Iron Man and also the Star Boost Armor Iron Man from the Game Reverse uh, collection or series, if you will. Um, they are the same exact mold. They are. And we're going to take a look at that in just a second on this edition of Zack, Zack, Zack Collects. And here we go. Okay, so once again, obviously Marvel Legends uh, products you know, from Hasbro. And Game Reverse, which happens to be the collection, if you will, the line. Uh, nice boxes, yeah. I mean, very nice packaging, I think. They all got spot varnishes on, spot varnishes on the top. They have the same exact packaging, really. Except for the back. Very cool back on this one, I think. This is the Star Boost. And it doesn't quite look like that when you get out of the package, but you'll see in a second. And then this is the Atmosphere Iron Man, which actually comes with a little bit more. It comes with a Tony Stark head, a cartoon style, or Gamerverse uh, Tony Stark head, if, if you will. Okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, let's go ahead and pause this for just one second. I'm going to take them out of the box, and we'll take a look at them together. And you can decide which paint you like best. Because remember, this is the same exact mold. Now, I'm a completist, and I love my Iron Man. Iron Man is like one of my favorite characters. Iron Man and Batman. I know people say, gosh, Zach, so you like billionaires that are also superheroes. Eh, I guess so. I'm going to Batman and Iron Man. But... Uh, these two guys, I like them both, and uh, I, th I think you will too. It, it's not I, for me. It's not an either or. For me, it's gee, look at this. It's the same mold, but the paint makes all the difference in the world. Anyway, pause. Come right back. Okay, first let's take a look at the um, atmosphere armor. That's the blue armor. Comes with a Joe Fixit arm, and that would be an impressive figure if you put it all together. I don't know, I, I might go ahead and buy that as a completed figure BAF off of eBay or something, because I don't feel like buying the entire line to get all the parts necessary for a Joe Fitz fix it. He also comes with some fists. Okay, and it also comes with the Tony Stark head, which is not bad, right? That's not, they, they've come a long way. I remember the days of Toy Biz when all the human heads Ended up looking like a Picasso painting. Nothing wrong with that. Picasso's nice. Okay, I got you. But it's what it looked like to me. But these, not a bad head. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Okay. Uh, for, for you know, the Game Reverse style of Tony Stark, obviously. But this is the Atmosphere Armor. I am man. Now pay close attention to the mold. Because when you see the Starburst, you'll see it's the exact, without a doubt, same mold. This one, of course, is all in blues. A little bit of uh, dark gray or black, if you will. Yeah, the side look. Let's look at the back. Yeah, there you go. Not bad at all, right? In fact, I'm really glad I bought this. I, I, I saw it. It was in Walmart. I couldn't believe it. There was one left on the peg. Because these are hard to find. In fact, I looked in eBay, and the atmosphere armors were going for... 35 bucks and up. So, obviously, I got this for 19 and change. Now, the thing I don't like is it's got holes. It's got peg holes for, obviously, some effects. But he doesn't come with any. So, guess what? we got to go back into the drawer full of bits and pieces and find some effects. Um, or there might be. In fact, <laughs> spoiler alert, there is. There's some extra bits and pieces in here, too, I can use. Um, so, I mean, we might try that. But let's see what happens. If we take off this head and we put on the Tony Stark head. There we go. Hey, how about that, huh? That's, I like that. 
I might just display them that way. I think that is just as sharp as it can be. I really dig that. Very nice. Very nice. Good. I like it. What I might do is I might take a little bit of brown shoe polish, liquid shoe polish, and you put it all over his face, right? And you wipe it off real quick. And it gives it kind of a more realistic look and uh, also looks a little more uh, shaded, if you will. Washed. Put a wash on him. So, that is the Atmosphere Armor. Now let's take a look at the Star Boost. Okay, so Mr. Star Boost comes with four of these effects parts. They are all the same. They're the same size. They are the same coloration. Four of them. Four. Four. So we're going to stick maybe one of those in uh, our Atmosphere Armor, Iron Man. Also it has this, well, no surprise, two fists, just like the Atmosphere Armor. And let's take a look at the piece de resistance. Here he is, his starburst, starboost rather. Sorry about saying starburst. It's just something I do because I'm from Iowa. Starboost armor. Now take a look at the armor. Take a look at the armor. Now remember, remember the atmosphere armor. It's the same sculpt. But look at the paint. Look, look, what, look what difference a little paint makes. Isn't that something? Now, I might be mistaken, although I don't think I am, but this Star Boost armor from the Game Reverse Marvel Legends Hasbro piece, this came out first. Oh, by the way, look, 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 look at the art reactor, if you can see that. Let's see if I can capture that. You can actually see some detail in there. It's pretty cool. This came out first. And then they came out with the Atmosphere armor in the blue. There's his back. See the fins on his calves, just like the atmosphere armor. Yeah. Now I have got, and by the way, we're going to take a look at that one day. I have got the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Star Boost Iron Man, and it is, wow, something else. And we'll take a look at that again uh, one day. Remember, what I'm doing from now on is I'm trying to do things a little bit differently. I'm trying to show you stuff that you might not uh, be aware, you might know, might not, might not know about. You know, like today, taking a look at how paint can affect a figure. So, real quick, let's take a look here at how paint can affect a figure. Here is our Star Boost. Here is our Atmosphere Iron Man. Same mold, deco, different. Look at what a difference that makes. So the age-old thing of, oh, repaints suck. Well, he, repaints can be kind of a hit and miss. But here, you need them both. These are both really cool. That is if you like the 112. That is if you like the Marvel Legends. That is if you like Iron Man. You really need them both. Because these babies kind of rock in their own way. And look at the difference. Look at the difference a little paint makes. I'm blue. I'm golden cream with little flecks in it. Show off. See what I mean? Hey, we'll be right back. We'll take a final look. Just a second. Oh, we're on. Oh, sorry. And here they are. And looky, looky. I'm not going to say it again because I've been saying it this whole time. Same mold, different paint. These come off as completely different figures, don't they? And they have a completely unique aesthetic. Oh, yeah, and by the way, take a look at his art reactor, too. You can see more of those details in that one than I guess you can the creamy one, the creamy white one. So here you go. Game Reverse. Atmosphere Armor Iron Man. Hello. Who's more, more new to the market than the Game Reverse Star Boost Iron Man. How's it going? But they are both, I think, equally as impressive. And wow, what a difference a little paint makes. Okay, well, this is Zach Collect saying, oh, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Oh my gosh, would you please? The only way I can keep doing this is if people subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And, you know, I'm also on Instagram and I'm also on TikTok. TikTok. So... Make sure you follow me. Let's talk. I, I enjoy talking to everybody. I really do. Zach Collect saying, have fun, keep collecting, and don't fall down and go boom. Okay, bye.